Sting your hair with another tutorial. This time I'll show you how to properly texture a sphere in Maya. Spheres are a little bit, a bit tricky to texture. You might know this from the Earth map. If you look at a map of the Earth, it's never perfect. Though I found a method that makes texturing them almost perfect. This is how you would normally do it. As you can see, the pole here is a bit fucked up. There is no real way to fix this, but there are ways to counter it. One of those ways is by actually changing the texture, so that the texture compensates for this polar distortion. When you make a sphere in Maya, the um, UV texture is always this default. As you can see, I picked up a pretty neat stone texture for this. And all the po polar distortion goes from here, because it presses these together, making uh, the texture look weird. So, to fix this, open up the texture in Photoshop, and go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates, and then select Polar to Rectangular, and click OK. As you can see now, it has warped the texture, and made the upper one basically one of the pixels stretch throughout the entire thing up here. And that is per that is perfectly countering this distortion effect. So let's change the texture. Um, change it to uh, the one you've edited. And as you can see it has almost perfectly countered this distortion effect. Now there's still some distortion, but if you look at it from this distance it's impossible to spot. You still have this seam though, that's because the texture is not pr properly looped. Though, if you look at the bottom, you can see that the bottom is, instead of being just a little bit fucked up, it's completely broken. That's because this texture takes away the, um, the mess from the top part and puts it all on the bottom. Now, there is a way to counter that too, so that you have a perfect UV map, or perfect texture. And the way you do that is, you duplicate the layer, and then you rotate it 180. And now you do the polar coordinates thing. and then you rotate it back so that you have changed the other part now you do the same for the one that you haven't rotated and now see we have the, the one that's the bottom part on the top layer and on right underneath that we have the one for the upper one so the one for the bottom, we need to erase the upper part so that the bottom one's upper part will be become visible. Just do the eraser tool. Now here you could put way more work into this and make these two really fit together well. But I'm not going to do that since this is a tutorial. Now you just save this. And as you can see, once it's open, you now have a completely undistorted, very, very neat looking UV texture thingy. You can barely see the ripple. It's there's still some minor distortion there, but you won't see it unless you're really close to it and I don't think anyone will go that close to Stoneball. 